The city of Lviv, once considered a safe haven for Ukrainians, came under attack today. Russian missiles rocking the city less than 50 miles from Ukraine's border with Poland, the country where President Biden was today, visiting with Ukrainian refugees. He said in a speech, we must commit now to be in this fight for the long haul. Here's ABC's Ty Hernandez with the details. Plumes of smoke seen rising over the western Ukrainian city of Lviv, the city rocked by two Russian missile strikes, those blasts sending people running for cover. All the people who live in the city of Lviv uh, think that it's the safest city in all, the, in all Ukraine, yeah? But no place is safe now. The first site hit an oil depot northeast of the city center, leaving five people hurt. The second strike hitting a defense facility on the outskirts of town. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky continues to stress his country needs more weapons, calling for 1% of NATO's arsenal. Saturday's attacks on Lviv less than 50 miles from Ukraine's border with Poland. President Joe Biden wrapping up his high-stakes trip on Saturday, visiting Poland's capital, Warsaw, sitting down for his first meeting with Ukrainian officials since the Russian invasion began. The president spent part of the day with Ukrainian refugees before addressing a large crowd waving American, Ukrainian and Polish flags. Rather than breaking Ukrainian resolve, Russia's brutal tactics have strengthened the resolve. Rather than driving NATO apart, the West is now stronger and more united than it has ever been. The president with a warning for Vladimir Putin. Don't even think about moving on one single inch of NATO territory. Then saying this. For God's sake, this man cannot remain power. The White House later playing cleanup, saying the president was not calling for a regime change in Russia. Ty Hernandez, ABC News, New York.